Hello, people of YouTube. First and foremost, I want to thank you guys for uh, hanging around, or more likely, completely forgetting that you had subscribed to the channel until this video came out and, you know, kind of stumbled across your feed. Now, I've been a little bit busy over the past couple of months, or honestly, God, it's been about a year now, and uh, work, life, and all of, uh, all of the et cetera's. But for the most part, I've been busy with the rally car. You see, under this tarp over here is a 1997 BMW Z3. And as you can see, there's not much left in it. And the astute amongst you will have guessed that the things that are missing from the Z3 are more than likely under this hood, and you would be 100% correct. Now, that is the venerable BMW M52 2.8 liter inline six, and <laughs> she's a monster. Over, I'd say about the past six months, I have been moving everything from that car over there to here that could possibly fit and, uh, you know, it, looking at the cone filter over there and the spliced wires over here, obviously I have a, a little bit to go to button it up and make it a true finished project. But, I mean, when it comes to project cars, are the projects ever really finished? The answer is no. So, I'm going to take you through a little bit of what I did. It's got a new engine, it's got a new transmission, the differential from the Z3 is in here. Uh, not really a major upgrade for the differential. I had an LSD in here before. I believe the lockup went from 10% to 25%, and it was just a matter of getting the correct gearing because the BMW, the E30's differential was the completely wrong gear for this transmission, and it was just way, way over revving. So, got the differential in there. Had a rally cross yesterday, absolutely smashed it. First place in class, 10th overall out of 35 people. I could not be happier. And the car's not even done. I have a little bit of an issue where there's overheating. It'll drive fine. I've driven this to work and back, you know, on the highway, on the streets. It's fine. In competition, it overheats. And that is what I need to do next. Because in a little over a month, in Sebring, Florida, is the Southeast Divisional Rallycross Championship. And I have a very strongly competitive car, and I am going to do my damnest to win that title come July. Um, and yeah, that's about the state of things right now. Now... My intentions for doing this project were to video everything that I did, step by step, every step of the process, and take you with me on that journey. I completely failed to do that after about the first month, because honestly, I did this entire project alone with my own two hands, and setting up a camera, and getting the right angles, and moving everything around, and making sure that I didn't run out of battery was just... It was more than I wanted to handle, and honestly, more than I could have handled at the time, and still gotten this project done, you know, remotely on time. So, that's where I am right now. I have a couple of more things to do. I would like to take you with me on my journey to Sebring. It may happen, it may not, but I will most definitely see you again in the next couple of months.